Hello, it is Friday, February 10th, 2012 at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I wanted to show you something. Um, last night I did a video called um, Harp Frequency Spike on East Coast. And I kind of wanted to show you how things are progressing. Um, going over to IntelliCast here, you can see that we've got a system moving into that area. Um, if I go zoom in on it, Dover's right in here. And Fort Dix is right up in here, right up in here. And you can see that the storm is just kind of moving into the area. If I turn the weather view on, um, it reads wherever this little crosshair is. And you can see that it's not really, they don't have any precipitation yet. They've got broken clouds going up into here, overcast, overcast, broken clouds, few clouds. Um, Going over to College of DuPage, you can see that we've got a, a harp ring right here, a harp frequency ring centered around, I think that's Pittsburgh. Not Pittsburgh. Yeah, Pittsburgh. <laughs> okay. And you can see the storm is just kind of rising up here over the um, Dover Doppler right in here and it hasn't quite gotten up into here. So looking at the clouds, we've got some pretty good cloud cover going. We've got, looks like frequency in the clouds here. Maybe from this wind blow. As well as we've got something creeping up here with long tendrils. Going over to the next rad loop. Let's check that out. You can see that these clouds are approaching, but they have not hit the um, Doppler radar yet. Going back to look at, let's see, precipitation. It's showing that we do have precipitation in the area, but it's reading the scatter for some reason because on IntelliCast it was saying there was no precipitation in this area yet. Everything was either clear or cloudy or... So I'm not sure that these are reading correctly. And if I look at the storm total, it's actually less than what's happened in the last hour. And then let's also go look at Fort Dix in Philadelphia. And you can see that we've got a pulse that happened there. I mean, clearly there's there's nothing that's hit there yet. And we'll go slowly through the loop so you can see it. So right here we're on clear mode at 1536. There's something pink and lit up right there. And then it goes into precipitation mode at 1557. Going back one, yeah. Sometimes they get a frame out of place. I was just checking that. And then 1736. So we went from 1557 to 1736. So we got must have been down for an hour and a half. 1557 to the times right up here. 1736. 1741. Back in clear mode. 3641. 51 clear mode. Then it stays in clear mode. Let me run that through so you can see it in sequence. And there's pulsing um, affects how these things behave. I know that. How it affects it, I don't know. Um, probably makes waves. <laughs> um, when you pulse something, you're going to make a wave. Like if you, you know, put your subwoofer next to the water, you're going to get little waves in the water. So, um, and that's obviously pulsing. And then I wanted to show you these, those tendrils. They're coming up. Let's start it here. You can see this coming up from here. We've got this kind of odd looking cloud with all these little ripples. See it down here? Let me zoom in. 
right in here. See that? And that's this it's being led by this I don't know, caterpillar looking thing. And I have a feeling those are like chemtrail induced type styrations or they're not natural. They, the clouds don't look like that. Not not for that long anyway. And then looking at the radar of the same, I'm not really seeing anything. Well, it looks like, yeah, we're getting some harp rings down in here, down by Eglin Air Force Base. Actually, it's coming out out of here. You see them right here, here, here. So those ripple clouds that you were seeing, that's, that was right over this area. I'll go back and show you. And so that's what's making it is, is we've got the frequency rings showing up here. Let's go back and look at the clouds there. Go back, it's down in here. Here's Eglin Air Force Base is right in here. So it's actually occurring before that too, so the frequency must be encompassing that area. And we do have activity on the magnetometer out of Kokona, Alaska. Actually, we've got something really odd. This is um, today's date. And let me zoom in. I've got a really strange thing down here. See it down here? It just like suddenly appears and drops down. Oh, it goes from like 17 to, there's 18 right there, to 19, 17 to 19 UTC. And then also we've got quite a big frequency spike right here. And I went to the, up in here you can choose to um, get a close-up of the last expanded plots that's a, that's what it's called and it is a very strange thing that that little wormy looking blob turns into all these little dotted see these little dotted things so it must be a signal like a pulse a tut, 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 tut. Um, each little tick is 10 minutes so it's 1800 10 20 30 and you can see that started about 17 10 right here it went to about 19 10 right here and then tapered off and it's right at 0.5 Hertz that whole length of time and then looking at the spectrum monitor I got that zoomed in too we're looking on the the 10th you can see that this is what I talked about in that last video and we're getting that again only preceding these jumps up here so this is at 16 17 18 right here about 18 these start and about 19 and a half they well 17 I'm trying to link it to the other but this this is way up in the megahertz which is like millions of hertz a million hertz so um, and I can't quite get my mind about <laughs> how we can have that one chart so small and this one so large so th there's a, a broad range here of frequencies and um, it seems like I had one more thing to show you. I can't think of what it is at the moment. So we'll just leave it at that and I will continue to monitor this. And um, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Let's see if it's hit here. Here's an odd thing. And I don't know if it has anything to do with anything. But on 1828, on the regional products, the whole United States went gray including the scale though that that's what's suspicious is the cl the scale is also gray and when i zoomed in on like um you know the radar here it doesn't show gray at 1828 i mean you see 1828 and it's green but i just thought that was interesting that that we had that happening along with these other strange items so um actually let me show you one thing while we're on a roll um looking at the um, hemispheric products. Blech. There's this glow. I don't know if you can see it here. I'm going to zoom in. There's this glow that's showing up. And it's at, well, I'm going to have to move this to see it, 1015 on February 10th. And you can see it's right, here's Hawaii, and there's these four little islands. And if I turn on the latitude, longitude, this is at 
150. So this is like about 170. And I'm going to have to zoom back out so you can. Yeah, i got to go up here and unzoom. So 50 to 80, 50, 60, 70, 170, 75, right in there. And then this is zero. This is the equator. So, and then this is 20, so 10, you know, about 9, 7 zone right here is the center of that. And if I go to, and I don't have it open because I wasn't going to talk about it. Let's see if it opens in any quick amount of time here. And if I can go right to it, I had it marked, so maybe we'll get right to it. Come on. There it is. I wanted to show you right at that location. This is 9 degrees by 167. There's an AMISR at Altair Marshall Islands. And there's that light type of thing. I've seen it before, but not for a while. Let's just go ahead and go all the way in. Hopefully it shows here. Grid go away. It's really cool looking at these islands, but you can see it here. It's a little dish. There's a little um, Doppler type looking thing. So that's not a very clear picture of the dish. Let's go back in time and see if it looks better. Hopefully all this ties in. Yeah, there is no back in time. That is the only image we have. So anyway, there you have it. I don't know if this is adding to those frequencies. It looks like we've got a tank here. Can't quite tell if it's a tank or a Doppler by the shadow. You can usually tell, but we don't have a really clear picture here. Yeah, it looks like a Doppler. See, it curves into the curve. So, and I'll give you the coordinates to go look at this so you can see it yourself. So, God bless you. Be safe out there. And, um, oh, now here's another one. It looks like a whole complex that, that's going on. Here's another little, maybe this one's better in focus. Yeah, not really. You can see it in the shadow, though. So, okay, there you have it. God bless you.